So it's called the student-led conference and what it is, it's so the parent knows what's going on in the kid's school life, how they're doing in class, uh, what are their strengths, what do they need help on. It's basically a foundation for communication in order for the parent to get the message, um, like what's happening with the kid in class. I start talking about strengths. I've developed a public speaking skill. I am not afraid to stand up in a, in a crowd for a full of bunch of people and talk. Like, I'm not afraid of that anymore. I would talk about um, the classes that you need help on, or it doesn't even have to be about school. It could also be about your home life. Taking that more holistic view, even if you have to like make a pros and cons list, has benefited me, and I think it's going to benefit me for the next four years of my life and beyond so usually if you're not a senior if you're an underclassman then you have like the next semester to look forward to or the next year to look forward to so you, you can you can plan out some goals or some things you want to reach for the next semester sometimes you have to show evidence like bringing work with you they give like uh, questionnaires and we can answer them to prepare before our SLCs so we know what we, what we want to talk about. So the teacher's responsibilities are to email the parent and the student about their SLC schedules or timings. Having an SLC really kind of keeps you on in check. Um, it updates parents and teachers um, with where you're at. In a parent-teacher conference, you're just there listening. Here, like it's all about the student what they want to share with their family or what they want to share with their teacher. Since it's the student going to school, the student has to like advocate for themselves and say what's going on with themselves.